Hello folks, Samsung has upped its software update game massively in recent years. Not only has the company committed to four generations of Android operating system upgrades for its recent devices, leaving other manufacturers including Google behind, but the South Korean giant also sometimes deploys monthly updates faster than the Mountain View company. Samsung has now opened up the Android 13 based One UI 5.0 beta program in Germany, South Korea and the US. As first reported by Sam Mobile, One UI 5.0 Beta brings this firmware version and also includes the Orgo security update. The update is currently rolling out for the Galaxy S22. Samsung was earlier expected to kick off the rollout in the third week of July, but the beta program has still started a month earlier compared to the One UI 4 beta program. One UI 5.0 brings the new features that are part of Android 13 as well as Samsung's own work. 9 to 5 Google has published the changelog and the highlights appear to be greater control over notifications, more color palette options, new multitasking gestures, stock Android permission dialogues, user experience will be enhanced with smoother animations and a redesigned notification center. Optical character recognition is enabled in the gallery, allowing you to copy text from screenshots. You could do this before using the edge panel extract text, but now it's easier and faster, less steps. Additionally, some smart suggestions will appear based on the text. For example, snapping a photo of a phone number or a web address will let you call or visit with a single tap. Besides, there are many very interesting new features and gestures. There are almost 80 items in the changelog. Maybe no drastic changes in terms of UI or visual design, but a lot of small changes that improve usability. Some features were present before, but now they are easier and faster to execute and more user-friendly. Changelog also mentions things like a gesture to enable split-screen multitasking, stackable widgets, yeah, this was copied from iOS, but they all copy each other, options to filter notifications from noisy apps, improved sound and vibration settings, better search in my documents, new features for Bixby routines, new emojis, plus the option to make videos with two emojis, new AR stickers and the ability to make your own from images and so on. Also, I like the future ability to set a different call background for each contact. Finally, it's happening. The camera app now shows a histogram in Pro Mode. There is a new zoom bar that lets you zoom in with one hand and food mode is enabled for the telephoto lens. A watermarking feature lets you stamp the time and date on each photo or other user-defined information. Samsung DeX has been improved as well, especially the taskbar. There is a new search button on there and tapping the date will show a calendar widget. Notifications from apps will appear as red dots on the task Right-clicking on an app offers quick access to select functions. Also, support for physical keyboards has been enhanced with spell correction and emoji input. Finally, most of Samsung's apps have been updated. Samsung Internet, Health, Pay, Members, the Galaxy Store, SmartThings and others. Samsung can always introduce new features down the road, but now its focus appears to be on delivering the Android 13 experience as soon as possible, which is something most consumers will appreciate. The stable release of One UI 5.0 is expected in October and it's possible we will get to hear about it from the company during the August 10th unpacked event where the Galaxy Fold 4, Flip 4, Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and Galaxy Watch 5 Duo will be announced. Guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned and we will keep you updated. Good luck to all!